Hello everyone and welcome. This is Rigita with Magic Pond Crafts and uh, I'm coming back with to you uh, as um, the whole maze overall review. I was done by 10 days uh, because I was doing Stitch Mania. So I wanted to just go overall if you don't like to watch small Stitch Mania day-to-day um, -day kind of things. So I had, uh, I'm putting this together hopefully as a short time to kind of overview. So the May was quite a busy in our family lives. I, we had uh, one uh, son's in a high school prom and uh, honor ceremony. We had um, middle school uh, graduate uh, concert. Then the both uh, graduations happened within two days and the high school graduation actually we had a tornado warning while we were in the building. So that was a memorable time for us because we, we were advised uh, where to go in case we had to flee the building, uh, the room, and uh, part of my family was in a different building. So it was, we had uh, phones right next to each other and um, everything went, uh, normal without the glitch and it was fun. I've never been to high school graduation in US so it was an interesting thing to to watch. I don't know if it exact same thing happens uh, throughout the country or not but if I can I'll put little clips here or uh, I might have done it before uh, you know my last decade uh, last 10 days of me perhaps I don't remember. Um, and we had a trivia night, of course, uh, my chorus, then uh, ha went to the zoo as a school field trip with my daughter. She's the youngest. And um, things, you know, around the house and trying to plant the flowers and make a little garden. So today is, I believe, June 6th. So I'm going to show you all projects that I worked up to today because I'm uh, finally put in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Wow, yeah. So I was sort of put in the Slytherin house. Um, so I've been working hard to catch up with the homework and extra credits for May, June. Stitching and I think I'm doing well. I uh, j I just finished my second week's uh, homework, weekly homework, and I'm like three, I think, uh, extra stitchy credits done. And I was trying to um, figure out like yearly extra stitching uh, things, what I can do. Um, so it was a lot of reading and studying and uh, asking questions, both in a slithering, slithering uh, common room and uh, overall magical school and everybody was very helpful so thank you to all of you and uh, so yeah so let's start so in May I had quite a few new starts uh, and uh, touched some previous whips I have a one um, like finished uh, stitching project which I'm very excited about it took me almost two years to to do it so uh, let's grab things and go. All right, so um, I had uh, several things left over from uh, last year's uh, Stitch Mania. And I don't exactly follow like exact day where uh, I need to continue this year. If I didn't do, I try to, I try to be around the same day, but if not, then it's fine as long as they go through that um, in the month of May. So it might be like a day or two off because life uh, gets in the way, right? So my first new start was by hands on Designs, Katie Haberman, Stitching by the Sea because I was born by the sea port. And um, the fabric is very similar to what it is. It stitches with um, uh, like wigs dye works and a gas threads. And I'm uh, starting with the basket, this part. And the fabric is 32 count beach walk, and I'm doing two over two. And uh, uh, by the way, I'm doing uh, Stitch Media projects about giving two days for each, or maybe one day if I can do more. But this is how much I've done. 
So you can see that the little fishes are um, with the variegated thread. Might be wigs that works, I don't remember. But um, you're not gonna see a lot of the fishes because when you look at the pattern, they're gonna be on the bottom. So unless you lift up the basket, they're not gonna be seen. You're gonna have like this part seen. But it's okay, it's still lovely and uh, it, it was hard to figure out uh, how to uh, not to extend like this is my back threads, you know, go across. So I was doing lots of starts and, and endings. And um, I noticed uh, at the last like a fourth group that I, the way I was stitching it down um, is a pattern that my darkest uh, colors kind of was showing up on the bottom, unintentionally of course. So um, that was funny. So anyway, that's how much I've done. It's very fun to stitch and I enjoy every stitch of that. So that's the first one. Then I started uh, New Dimensions since I finished the previous one. I have several of these things that I'm in um, like a challenge in a Lithuanian uh, stitch groups. So I have to give at least once a month um, how much I've done. So that's what I picked. It's Milady Chateau. It's hard to find out of print uh, right now uh, pattern, but I love the scenery and uh, a lot of the stuff is done as a background with the half stitch. And uh, I was uh, also using this as one of the um, School of Magical Stitches assignments. So. That's what it's supposed to look like. And uh, I'm gonna fold the fabric. Uh, fabric, uh, I am using uh, what was in the kit. So it's a little wrinkled because I washed it to make sure it doesn't shrink. So that's what it is so far. So I had this done before uh, my school uh, homework was. And then one of the assignments was stitching something like a grass maze um, things. So I did the grass and those uh, small bushes. So you can kind of can see two ladies and the driver's profiles in the picture. So you can see they're in a carriage and uh, it's all in the half stitch. So I had to double the amount uh, to calculate the stitches. But that's what I have of this one. And it's using three threads uh, of that. Then uh, another new one was, it's uh, um, author's pattern I bought, uh, Seryogina. And it's called Christmas Wreath. And uh, I'm stitching this on 32 count antique white Lugana, October 2. And the pattern is not, ex not Fully squared it's 197 by 225 and uh, like it's typical to uh, those uh, designers uh, a lot of blends are gonna be in there but I um, was very happy that when I started stitching that the thread color uh, was exactly how it's showing up in the picture even though mine is I had to print um, with my printer but that's what I have. So when you compare to the bird, it's exactly this. So I know how my my uh, final stitching is going to be looking like. So it's fun to stitch. I found the middle of the pattern and uh, went over and started on the bird. I figured it might be easier with the bird. And then I can go up or down instead of like trying to find the top somewhere. So that's how much I've done with this. It was also fun. Next, um, next I had uh, something different. It was on a plastic canvas, a seven count mesh. And uh, if you know, watch my videos previously, you know I like uh, Supernatural, I like Dracula. So I got this kit by Mary Maxim and it's the tissue box um, holder. And uh, actually, the colors here are not exactly. It's going to be gray color, uh, not this brown. And uh, the yarn was all just the, in, as a bundle. It was not sorted out by the color. So I had to figure out which is which, especially because I couldn't find this color. So, yeah. 
and uh, I'll have a separate video on this because a, a mesh plastic canvas, if you've never done it before, uh, to cut it, it's, um, you look at it slightly differently than when you stitch pattern with the holes. Um, it's slightly different and it took me a while to remember how to do it. Instructions though in the kit are very, very well written um, as far as I've noticed. So anyway, I cut out a couple of pieces and one of them was very top. I know the head is going to be uh, done separately, uh, also with the bats. But um, this is how much I've done. So, um, so all of the black is stitched. There's going to be sides in there. And uh, there's going to be like a whip stitch around the edges. That's why you leave the edges all um, empty like this. But that's what it's gonna be like the size wise so it's gonna be like that so it's fun i finished uh, fairly quickly uh once i figured out the cutting and uh got used to the to using yarn again um but uh, it's it's fairly bendable uh, yeah and it's easy on the eyes because it's a seven count and you do the half stitch kind of thing so it goes fairly fast so that's a uh, Dracula box. Uh, six new start was um, something also easy on the eyes. And um, you've probably seen some, oh, my magnets got stuck. Um, on some of my, um, if you're in a Slytherin house especially, uh, my homework and uh, extra assignments. It's this dragon pillow. It's called my dragon cushion, actually. And... Uh, I, I fell in love the uh, first time I saw this, and um, I used uh, for several assignments, as I mentioned. And uh, let's see how much it's it's up to right now. Uh, it's a four uh, threads over one. I think it's an 11 count. So this is how much I've done. And again, the picture uh, depicts exact colors as a thread uh, on the fabric so I know that's what exactly it's gonna look like it's very fun to stitch and um, there's no backing included in the fabric uh, because everybody loves different um, fabric backing so I kind of marked a little bit uh, with uh, my washable marker uh, otherwise I just follow the pattern so it was very fun and uh, I guess it's a she <laughs> Because she lured the dragon um, away uh, from an egg, so I can take an egg, and uh, yeah. So there's no back stitching actually involved in this, and you can, I think they did the uh, pattern very well uh, how they designed it, um, and the eyes, I light color things actually already stitched instead of uh, seeing through, so it's very very beautiful. My daughter already is trying to claim this even though I got her different pillow by Pana and I'll put a link below where you can uh, find it um, and also if you want to save 10% on all regular price items I'll put in a code for that too so that was uh, what my new start number six number seven it's a uh, Chinese uh, kit version from dimensions timeless um, elegant uh, ornaments because the mentions um, not making them anymore a long time ago and it's way over hundred dollars if you can find it online to buy so I decided to try um, Amish, um, Amish shops and there's gonna be these ornaments they're not tiny and uh, there's a different amount of stitches um, uh, blends involved in this and there's gonna be a golden thread so it might be like a couching done um, like those yellow lines and across that so I'm trying this out and I went with my um, very first it would be this one uh, I'm gonna try to find later on uh, see how original is looking if it's uh, about the same look or not but this is how much I've done so put this in this frame uh, fabric was given um, twice the length for each ornament Every ornament is slightly uh, different in uh, stitch count, like by a couple stitches could be higher, uh, smaller or uh, wider. So um, I measured this up 
as one of the fabrics and I figured out it's enough half of it. So I cut half of it. So I, if I wanted to, I probably could make a two of these. So that's how much I've done. And the very first one was actually a blend of colors. So it's a very simple um, to stitch. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll be done maybe with one, at least with one fully finished ornament by the this Christmas. Because I have right now, as this moment, uh, 30 whips. And I'm participating in the Stitch 9 um, challenge. So hoping I need to finish some of them. And there are a couple more uh, new stitches, new stitching planned left for this year. I think three out of uh, however many I had in the beginning of the year, I had it all listed. So I haven't started anything totally new that I didn't plan. So I'm sticking to my uh, list, so which is good. Then next I picked uh, something smaller than, um, than a lot of big ones that I have and it's my very first Jess Nan and it's a tiny reindeer cube and uh, it's only cube not the mouse I have a mouse uh, pattern separately so the little beads that's going to be used uh, on the top they're included in the pat with the pattern and um, let's see how much I've done I picked the fabric um, which is 32 count uh, if you're interested lakeside blue linen two over two I picked the color actually from the picture uh, because I didn't like um, what were, they were recommending I thought it was a little too bleak in color but show you let's see if this is a top this is how much I've done so I finished the very middle uh, part fully and I started it's going to be two on the sides, one on the top, and two on the bottom. And then uh, you go with this uh, backstitch uh, cube lines, and you connect uh, with them all the parts. So it's fun to stitch. Although it was uh, strange since I usually don't do small patterns like this, that um, you do a little bit of stitching, and then you have to pick a new color because you're done with this. So. It also involves one type of a crinic, so it's going to have uh, some sparkling. And as you can see, I already uh, did a little bit on the sides to see how far it goes. Uh, make sure it's connect all connected and pattern matches. So that's what I've done. And uh, I think that's the very top of, of this. So that's what I've done with my um, Christmas little cube. I'd love to finish this uh, by the end of the year, but I want to really uh, work on my babs because I have quite few uh, like heaven and earth designs that I'm trying to concentrate. I think I have three that uh, specifically picked for this uh, year to move. I have two that I set aside as the whips for hopefully touching up more on next year. Plus I have a giant George to work on. Um, and I wanna, I have that on a very big challenge to work on. So after this tiny reindeer cube, I uh, picked um, a little bit bigger. <laughs> so it's uh, Lucas pattern. It's called Etude with Strawberries. So it's this uh, long skinny thing. And I use a fabric that's included in the uh, kit. And I, uh, again, I used that in one of uh, my homework. I think it was uh, SPEW homework was my very first week. I had a couple of days to catch up and, and uh, update. And let's see, which way is up? Here is up, yep, because of the way needle. So that's how much I've done. So I found very center and I started with the center uh, berry and uh, just didn't put in like where this, I guess the, like uh, those eyes or seeds would be. And uh, kind of continued, finished the thread and I picked something different to go in. And uh, I posted my homework and uh, then set it aside. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be this one, this berry right there on the top. So it's gonna be a few stamps coming out, lots of green colors. Um, not a lot of huge choices uh, are going to be in the color wise, but um, 
some of the patterns I have are very colorful so it's fine it shouldn't take very long uh, especially like those shades are gonna be like a half stitch done so so that's what it is and uh, this is the full length so very very small start but it's uh, it's a start then I had uh, one more brand new start uh, for Stitch Mania and it's uh, Easter egg kit I had it um, from Riolis company and everything is included in a kit and that's uh, what the box looks like it has a wooden egg uh, beads uh, there's gonna be a gold gold thread and um, so that's what it is and uh, I'll show you where I put it I'll show you there so the egg is this size uh, it has a slightly flat bottom so it can sit and it's wooden egg so if you I want it I can paint it I can do anything with, with it underneath I've never done uh, beading um, that surrounds the thing so it's gonna be interesting to try out because if you get it loose it's gonna look weird so it has to be correct tension in it and there are some um, other uh, choices and there's there, there, all kinds of different egg choices that I've seen in a store where I bought it and um, yeah so it's just bright flowers so the way I did I looked at the pattern and uh, found the very middle did a little bit and then went um, up and around and did the border so that's what it's looking fabric uh, was what's included and that's a whole width and it's over one stitches uh, full uh, full cross so there's a uh, several c colors already involved in this so it did the very center of the flower and it's uh, like repeating three uh, times total so I finished the edges I myself uh, with my regular sewing machine and uh, I always do that no matter the size of the piece because uh, I don't want a chance to fray it at all um, so so yeah that's what I've done with uh, this and I think oh I missed one actually <laughs> I missed one new star because it was so small it was hiding it's the heart uh, sampler scissor spool and uh, needle nope that's not it I don't know where I put the picture is that it yep that's it so got it um, from a designer at the needle work gallery also so that's what's gonna look like and uh, this top part is actually uh, flips down so when I have to stitch that part I'll have to do on the back side make sure I get it correctly and uh, there's uh, mostly with one color everything was included in the kit so you can kind of see what um, scissor little holder is gonna be like and it came with this unfinished uh, wood piece that bottom is flat so I don't know how I'm gonna stain it or just um, put the clear coat on to leave it like that I probably will stain it to look a little bit nicer and the fabric was included in there too and um, so let's see how much I've done so that's what I've, I've done it um, again I finished the edges myself and uh, stitch along uh, you can see kind of words in here s and something else and started with the hearts um, and that's where I stopped because it's stitch mania it's not everything you can do for a long time um, but I'm sure I can finish it this year as my smalls so that's all my new starts now uh, I had of course some uh, previous webs so I'll show you that next okay so uh, one of the first I started is uh, Mirabilia and I use that also for one of my extra stitching points and uh, it's Mermaids of Deep Blue that's um, one of the Mirabilia that I was working on in the past month so I'll show you how much I've done I'm doing skin uh, one over one with um, Rainbow Gallery silk um, threads and uh, I worked on the skin of uh, my top mermaid 
So this is how much I've done. So as you can see, I had uh, I had an outline of the arms. I did a slight change uh, with a couple areas um, of the outlining, and I'm gonna follow with my stitching. I uh, like I said, I'm using a silk thread, so I'm doing a shading slightly different too, and. Uh, so that's how much I've done. It was just a little bit on the shoulder uh, before that. So I did all of that in the month of May and uh, liking it so far. So um, down to the bottom, everything is done stitching. Um, the fabric is from uh, Fabric Flare um, 2 over 2. And uh, the only thing will be left is going to be uh, beading. So. Hopefully I'll finish it also this year because I have, I think, three more uh, Nora Corbett pieces or Mirabella pieces um, to start this year. So I'm eager to finish something. I don't want to have 20 of them uh, at the same time, but uh, this is how much I've done. So I think the skin looks very delicate uh, in there and uh, you can see very top of that. So it's exciting. Um, although. The part of the arm, uh, I think you needed to do 500 stitches or something. So it was not a lot of the arm to do to finish it because instead of one regular across, I'm doing four. So that was my Mirabilia. Then, then I had, um, I'm slowly doing um, this piece. It's called 99 by Ink Circles. And uh, before I had the first row done, and I managed to squeeze in uh, one bottle of beer on a second shelf. So finish this. It's very quick. It takes like a couple hours to do. So it's exciting to slowly see growing. And uh, I'm doing that on a suggested uh, ale, 32 count by Picture Disc Plus. So it's 138 uh, counts wide by 285 height and I have what about three years to finish this my plan at least so I think I can do it um, if I don't have a stitch mania every month then I'll be fine so that was that the next I worked on um, is um, Snow Leopard uh, original was done by Dimensions but again it was uh, pulled out of production so I got um, a Chinese version to try out um, by Joy Sunday. And this usually is my uh, like a travel project, car project. I actually had this uh, taken with me uh, while my daughter was doing gymnastics at the YMCA. And uh, I pulled out yesterday again to, uh, to put in a couple of stitches because the fabric is pre-printed, pardon the noise, and uh, I opened the bag and somehow a little tiny shampoo bottle got in and got squished. So all that shampoo leaked on my threads and actually a little tiny bit on the top of my uh, pattern, uh, the, the fabric. So I can't wash it because um, since it's pre-printed fabric, it all, all would wash out. And of course I have a um, paper version uh, of the pattern, but I didn't want to deal with that. And this is one of my um, Stitch 9 challenges. So as you can see, there's quite a bit done. If you can see it, I mean, you can kind of tell that this corner is totally unfinished. Um, but um, from the back, you can tell what was done already. So it's mostly like this corner left. And uh, everything so far stitches two over one. I know uh, this 14 count and um, I might have to ditch if I can't wash out all that shampoo squished in the threads. I might have to um, use DMC um, threads because it's marked in here. So at least that's helpful because I already had one uh, thread um, too, too, uh, not enough for a pattern. I ran out so that's why I couldn't finish one of the eyes. But it's very easy to do um, and um, have to take it off and now figure out how to um, salvage it so yeah so I worked a tiny bit on this just working on my side and uh, slowly put in like a nose and stuff like that the threads of course are um, 
I don't know, XMS or one of those versions that they have uh, in China made. But it's fun, rela very relaxing, very easy to stitch on. Um, you don't have to calculate and, and just travel in between little chunks of that. Um, so that's that. Then um, I had uh, one of my heads. Uh, I had to do that for uh, one of the uh, assignments for Magical School. And it's uh, What's This by Heaven and Earth Designs. So I'm doing this line and the colors are when I had to print uh, was uh, are the slightly different so as you're gonna see I'm doing this on a 28 count off-white opalescent linen two over one half stitch and I didn't do a lot but that's a whole piece what it's gonna look like so it's not a lot because it's over one and mostly what I've done is finish a bit of this column and continue this column. I think I needed to do like 500 um, or 200, <laughs> something like that, maybe 200 full stitches. So it did, uh, of course, more than twice that. So I do some and park. Um, there was no crinic in my, that part involved, but there are some in other parts. Probably can see a little bit sparkly here. So those are interesting uh, hues of color, like uh, you have a slight, like a purplish uh, color thing. So I've seen that on the second page where I'm at, on the bottom is going to be already land snow, so it's not going to be just the sky, although there's a lot of sky still ahead. And uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun. I started that actually in 2017, Stitch Mania. So at least a little bit by little it uh, works right it's adding up then you know that i did <laughs> then i had a uh, um, custom uh, made a pattern for me and i'm participating in um, one of the groups that i have to stitch and it's um, spoiled child um, i'm doing that on a 18 count um, look, uh, yeah, it's 18 count Ada, uh, two over one uh, full cross. The pattern is 450 by 514, so it's pretty big. And it has 48 colors total and 105 blends. So it's gonna be, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of blends. And I pulled out this to work uh, for assignment and uh, I had uh, an assorted threads, but uh, when I ran after that, I was looking for uh, bag where I had all extra threads from which I cut off all the parts for us um, uh, like this kind of type of holder and I can't find the bag with all of those threads so I had to stop so I didn't do a lot of the threads but um, artist is um, Jean-Baptiste uh, Gruz from France uh, early 1760s so I fell in love with this uh, painting and um, just did a little bit on that uh, kind of column so they had to stop it now now the real question is where all my threads are because it's gonna be lots of boring coloring in this main part um, that's gonna be just the wall but when I get I think to the people it's really gonna be interesting to see how their faces pop up there's another company um, that uh, does amazing patterns uh, with the from paintings especially they're good at uh, faces and it's called este and uh, they're they do kits and uh, of course kits are also um, not cheap <laughs> and uh, but I'm very tempted to try one of theirs because I've seen uh, stitch pieces when they show and it was amazing beautiful so it can um, can they they not do exactly the same of heaven and earth design so they're not exactly um um what do you call that uh they're fighting over the the styles but um they're i think on the same league so i'm happy that michelle can do something uh much more wider here in the u.s so but i want to see how um my custom uh, chart um by adastruck lady um done but uh, so far i'm liking it it's really standing out from further away and it's gonna be 
yep long piece long piece I have a uh, three inches on the sides I think left um, for a framing and holding so so yeah that's beautiful piece then of course I have my George piece and um, participating in a huge challenge so in the month of May um, I had to do 7,000 stitches and I did it uh, it was not easy. <laughs> That's why some of the my uh, stitch mania pieces were suffering from uh, not being stitched uh, a lot. And I have again on a George uh, piece of sky. And I'm on a page 34 out of 100. Some of them are not big. So I have a pattern. <laughs> you can see. So, so if you are interested, 7,000 uh, 7, are like, let's count one. Um, column off so it's about this much there's a 7,000 stitches and mostly I have a blues and a gray uh, color you can see from far away because it's meant to look at the far away and it's 18 count uh, Ada fabric and threads are Sullivan which were all donated by Sullivan company so solo working now uh, on the May and the May uh, June June piece. Um, I'm gonna try to continue and it would have to be 7,500 stitches. So I'm gonna see how much I can make. If I, if I have to drop out, I have to drop out of the, the challenge. It's like four uh, of us right now left uh, that keep growing by 500 stitches on the project each month. And they have, of course, a little bit uh, more interesting um, uh, designs to stitch on. Uh, more colorful um, so it's a curse and a blessing I guess it would be so that's that then I had hold on oh that didn't fell off then I had another bap having their designs and it's a beloved and I'm doing that uh, sort of like uh, Tina stitches said um, call it a tapestry so I'm calling that too again and um, that's the couple. I'm doing that on a 14 pound soft Ada fabric that I dyed uh, slightly myself. Uh, so it wouldn't be purely light color. And uh, I was using that for uh, several challenges um, in different um, language groups, so to speak. And I actually went all the way to the edge of the first row. So I reached the edge and I'm doing that four threads over one half stitch or continental stitch so I'll show you if you haven't seen yet the full what it looks like the full width of it and uh, it's gonna be huge yes <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna have to really think hard how I'm gonna uh, frame it uh, I might have to do like a plexiglass to cover it and uh, make a frame myself but uh, that's what it is and mostly it's going to be uh, these hues and a little bit of hair I think uh, at the end and then we'll see where I will go next uh, shall I, will I start again from uh, this side or I'll continue that and go backwards I don't know yet but I just I'm hoping um, within the next two months that I'll finish this because it's uh, half stitch so it shouldn't be that hard to fill her in but I want to stitch in so many different projects that, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Then I worked on uh, one of my um, other things that for homework. And it was this. It's, I guess, originally called the Summer Ball. Um, but I'm using, uh, I use this for uh, something about the Winter Ball um, for May, June homework because Back in those days, uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, were dressed, I think, pretty much the same clothes, winter or summer, and it's a fancy clothes, so it reminds me of Pride and Prejudice. And I'm doing this on a 32 count Ivory Lugana. I'm doing two over two, uh, except the black, uh, black outfits, I'm doing three over two to get a better coverage, and the skin I'm doing, um, um, one over one so that's what I have so far um, I put in the homework because I finished um, 
five, I needed to do 500 stitches, so I finished a little bit in here, going there, and over 300 uh, stitches, full stitches are just in her arm, and there were like a couple stitches in um, in um, in the middle of her chest left to do. So that's how much it was. It doesn't look a lot, right? But um, it took time to do that. And this is what it's looking so far. There's one lady hiding. And it's uh, just, I think, over a third of it done. The whole thing. Uh, if, hold on. I tried to kind of fold it in half to see where the middle part is. So that's where the guy... Um, guy is so right behind him that's what's going to be half so i'm only like right here so there's seems like there's several groupings that are um you probably could do even separately if you wanted to but i'm going to do the whole thing and i think once i'm done with this i'm going to start 12 uh, asian beauties or japanese beauties it's very long it's it, it's beautiful it's very colorful so I might do that too. I don't know. I haven't decided. If you if you want to see it, I just let me know below. So one more thing, and it fell on the floor. I'm gonna show you one more whip that I uh, touched in the month of May. And this is a uh, Brooks box, uh, Stitches Alphabet, and I'm doing that um, on 28th count Witchelt Lamb's Wool jo Joblin Joblin. And um, it's for free online on the Brooks Books uh, website. So in the month of May, I did letter E, which is right here on the bottom. So the way I decided to do all of the alphabets is going to be top and the bottom. It's going to be three letters and the rest of it is going to be five letters. So instead of jumping in the D here, I just did the E and then I, easier for me to reach that side with the counting. The only thing I struggled with was the, uh, like a green color and the light green that was uh, from between uh, those little flower buds that connects to this letter, I guess. Um, I couldn't uh, distinguish between the colors uh, and I blew up really um, big on my computer screen to try to see the difference which is which so at the end I just um, just figured out myself the way I wanted to kind of thing um, yeah so there is a time bit crinic where uh, there is a needle um, so it's it was not hard um, there's some beads uh, involved in here it's a kind of cross kind of see a little bit but yeah so I did the uh, slowly and this is also one of my um, previous stitch mania starts I started it last year so slowly by slowly going so the only thing left to talk about is the finishes so in the month of May I finished uh, one bottle from 99 I finished one letter uh, Brooks uh, stitches alphabet and uh, I finished George's uh, three pages and my uh, piece de resistance is, I worked on this on the, if you can guess, um, for Memorial Day to finish up and I got her done. Ta-da! This is the Lady of the Flag in uh, full beauty. Uh, this, the only thing was left to do was the beading uh, around the flame torch and all around her head because there are bees on the crown. So that's what I finished it. So it's exciting. Uh, the fabric is um, by Fabric Flare called We the People 28 count. And I know quite a few of you are doing this too. So that's how much more fabric is left I still want to put um, initials and a uh, year at least on the bottom so I can remember and uh, yeah it's exciting skin I was doing um, um, over one two over one and a half stitch 
and uh, if you remember I had it put up for quite a few months uh, aside because I didn't like how the the skin difference was looking in the shading so then I ripped some up, uh, off and um, picked some different colors and did a slightly different um, how the colors change in between so I did my own kind of little thing on the arm it was not much trouble because majority uh, there were a couple only colors lightweight because it's uh, lots of light but that's what she looks like it's exciting and uh, my husband already claimed this in his uh, workroom office to hang it so I need to figure out how to hang it so that's all of my stitching done Whew. I'll need a drink after talking but I'll be drinking some coffee so cheers <laughs> the only thing that I bought and got in the month of May was one pattern and I was very lucky to get it um, after watching uh, Nicola Parkman's uh, YouTube videos about her different projects I fell in love after seeing up close things because um, as a sampler it's it didn't have just the regular stitches and little figurines what drew me is actually all those um, specialty stitches and I don't know if you can uh, start uh, guessing or not but I went in a uh, uh, Teresa's uh, kitten stitchers uh, website and somebody actually I guess uh, canceled their order for this because it's a limited edition and uh, that's the color list of the threads and uh, my very first hands across the sea samplers is this piece Lucy Navier Navier, I guess, 1818. So, like I said, friends, done the plain stitches because the the tree itself is all French knots. You have people stitched over one. You have um, grass going slightly different. So all of that kind of drew me. What drew me in. So I I love it. I haven't figured out yet if. Uh, there's a way that I uh, don't need to stitch with the silk threads because there's a lot of them. Um, and if I could just go with the DMC or uh, some other hand dyed threads instead. So if you know, uh, like maybe there's, a, I haven't looked, maybe there's a specific page for, uh, for this piece or uh, other hands across the sea samplers where uh, they're Conver color conversions uh, done well the same colors but uh, different thread conversions are done um, I would be appreciative if you can uh, put it below in the comment section so that would be it I have another interesting pattern coming in finally I ordered together with some of the uh, full spools of uh, silk thread from Raybone Gallery there's still one that um, even after three weeks still back ordered so um, when I get that um, little pattern, I'll show you in the next month's video. So with the School of Magical Stitches and um, all those assignments, I might do again in a two-week segments because this video is coming very long. And uh, I try not to talk uh, about just same thing over and over. Um, so I'm trying to be straight to the point to show you my, all of my things that I've done. So I might have to do it uh, every two weeks to kind of make it shorter for half an hour maximum video. So um, again, uh, if you like um, or if you have any comments on any of my pieces, um, put it down below. I'll put down a link where you can purchase some of the, those um, Russian kits. And there's all other kinds of beauties in, in there on the website that I've been drooling about. and. Uh, slowly putting a list what I want to order next time and uh, yeah so you can find more updates also on my Instagram account which is the same magic pun crafts as a one word and um, that's it so I hope you guys have a great day um, congratulations with the first days of summer even though like officially it's not but according to months it is and in Europe, we usually celebrate 1st of June as the first day of summer, not like 20, 22nd or something like that. So I hope uh, the rains don't uh, 
drown you or um, the drought is not uh, hitting you too hard we've had plenty of rain here seems like it's raining and raining and uh, it's hard to get to st louis um, uh, in some places because also bridge constructions and things like that so i'll uh, talk to you guys later and uh, i'll see you still there in, in the common room so until the next time this was Yurgita with magic pond crafts and you guys have a good day Ta -ta.